Welcome back. This is Ingrid with Caratuti, and I am in the Atlanta area again at another Dollar Tree, and they had some new journaling stuff that I thought I'd share with you. Uh, one of the first things I found over in the school supplies section were these little insulated bags for their like little lunch boxes, but I thought these would be great to put your supplies in. I also found these really cute planner stickers. I think that even though they're for planners, like those page flags and stuff would be really great on a journal or a bullet journal, of course. Um, they're so cute and they have like, I think four or five different varieties of them. Right next to them, they had these bookmarks and they had two different color schemes but you could always alter those and make them how you want as I was um, walking away I saw all this stuff for autumn and I am going to tell you that if you want any of this um, if you think you're going to use it later on you need to get it now because it will sell out um, I know it did last year but I thought these would be really cute uh, they're like window clings but I think they would be really cute on a journal I would just use extra adhesive in the toy section, I found these little, I guess they're um, little boxes to store like collectibles, like little cars or Lego figures and stuff. But I think they would be really great to use for storage for like pastels. I went over to check out the area that is like three and five dollars and I saw these S gel pens and you guys know I love those they write so great and I think that's a better price than Walmart but I'm not sure but look at this it's a portable light pad that is just amazing that that's five dollars and as I was looking at the bins underneath I realized somebody had opened one up so I was able to look at it without opening the package and when I first was looking at it it's so thin that I didn't even notice the USB port um, but I did finally find it over on the side it's a great find they had these bins they would be good for eight and a half by eleven paper they were five dollars which I don't think is a great deal for them but they do you know close nicely but they did have these big 12 by 12 I think they're like 13 by 13 bins and um, you can store 12 by 12 paper in there those are pretty good and they're only three dollars they also had these fabric bundles those are really cute with those little dainty flowers some primary colors and then a set of white and these were all five dollars they also had these like floral prints it looks like kind of um retro hawaii that's the vibes that it's giving me and those were really cute um so if you're looking for a specific um theme i would definitely check them out i've never seen glitter like this at dollar tree and they had it in gold that purple red and when I pulled it out I noticed that they also had it in silver and those were really pretty okay I was gonna just walk past this section since I've already talked about it a couple times but this is leather vinyl I've never seen that before not at Michaels or anything else and they had this white as well as that dark blue they also had some glitter vinyl and they had it in that gold purple and then also a white which is very pretty you know I had to run over to the hardware department and they had this cotton twine which I think would be really good I don't know how it would hold up for binding but I'd love it to add texture on a page look at all this really cute baby stuff and I think these would be really great as a closure for a journal or you can just uh, cut the elastic off and use the bow make a um, paper clip out of it and then look at these acrylic bins so they are for candy they're really cute uh, clear acrylic but I thought they would be really great on your desk to hold some art supplies that's kind of like candy right 
wait until you see this little book that I found. It's an Emma board book. It's so cute. And then this cat meme book. Um, it's more like poetry, but um, so cute. The pictures inside are super cute. Um, then I also found this little book here and it first caught my attention because of the size of it and the colors, but, um, it was like, kind of like a wreck your journal where you, it had different entries and you can write in it almost like a diary too. And I think that would be really cute. So I'm curious if you want to pause the video right now and guess what are the items that I brought home with me at the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I picked up. Okay, so for the moment, uh, we were all waiting for, <laughs> I'll show you exactly what I got. I couldn't pass up this Emma book. I think that it is so cute. These little like felt dolls. This is such a cute little book. <laughs> She's winking in that one. They're so cute. It's like Emma told in just a few words. So adorable. And I never remember Emma, but I can always remember Clueless. <laughs> Anyways, they're so cute. Oh, it looks like there's more. So I'll have to keep checking back and seeing if um, I can find other ones. Um, I got this cat meme book. And it's funny that they call it memes because it's not really memes. They're like little poems, I guess. But <laughs> look at that. They're so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. I had to get this one. Um, I'll do a, like a really quick flip. <laughs> so adorable. Um, but anyways, I had to get this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I don't want to cover those guys up. Maybe I'll use them um, in a journal. Like maybe I'll tear this up and then just use the images and make a new journal. I don't know because the book is really cute too. The, the cover is adorable. So I got those. I ended up getting um, one of these, the Project 123 Daily Creative Journals or Creativity Journals. And it's kind of like Wreck This Journal where you can like write different things and it's really cute. So what caught my eye at first was the cover to make this into a journal. But I think this is really cute and I think it would be a lot of fun to do. So I'm curious, what would you do with this? Would you make it into a new journal or um, keep it as it is and, you know, do the, the activities? I also got this and I think I have a um, journal that I am working on and by the time I post this, it might be posted. I'm not really sure. This is one of the inserts. So there's gonna be three inserts and I'm using it, I'm making it using a gift bag from the first Dollar Tree video that I made that I said that you could make a journal cover from. A lot of you have been asking me to make it. So this is gonna go in there. This is a printable that um, I have available in my shop and it's super cheap. I want everyone to have it. So um, anyways, my thought was I feel like this color it kind of goes with some of the colors that I have in here. And so I thought this would be really fun maybe on the on the outside as either a tie or a decoration. So um, if that video is already up, I'll have it listed down below. I also picked up this little lunch bag. I showed you guys the teal one, but I thought this is really cute to stick some supplies in. It's a good size. I don't obviously need it insulated, but what's nice about it being insulated is that if you have any art supplies that come out like, let's say pastels or whatever, this, you can then wipe this up. So I thought that was cute. And um, then I also got these watercolor pencils, which we will be trying out in just a minute to see, do they work? <laughs> I'm curious to see my it's from the three dollar shops is like the fancier part of Dollar Tree <laughs> but I'm thinking that they're not gonna be great but we will um, try them out together and then the last thing that I picked up was this little um, case 
for these that's for like collectibles and I think it's such a good idea. And I'm hoping that my pastels fit in there. So I, right now I have them in here and um, they're oil pastels. And I think I've shown you guys these, they're really nice. So, you know, and we'll see if I keep them in here because what I'd probably do, since I have six spots, I might put them in like color. So maybe like reds and oranges, yellows and greens. Uh, let's see, blue, purple, and pink. And then my, the other colors maybe in here, maybe like the brownish, I don't know. I'd have to mess with them um, a little bit, but what do you guys think of that? And I think it's a pretty good, like, fit. It doesn't feel like it's coming apart. Also, I love that it's see-through, so you can see what you have. Um, I don't know how I'd feel about them, which I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I don't know how I'd feel about putting like a ton of them like this, because then I feel like you can't see the colors, whereas when they were laid out here, you could see every color. And I feel like if they're separated by colors, then you can see them. So I think that's the way that I would organize it. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are. Do you like that aspect or not really? Or what are your thoughts? Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this Canson paper. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and a paintbrush. And then we're going to test out these colors. I'm also going to do a little bit of gesso. Ugh. I'm gonna put a little bit of gesso like up in this top corner. Find my brush. There we go. And so I'll try it out on. Uh, and this is just clear gesso. I'll try it out on on here to see if it works better with gesso. And actually I have regular gesso. I'll put that down here. So, hang on a second. Okay. Barkley's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I'm just gonna do a, a very thin layer right here. That's it. So I'm not going to try, I'm gonna try to remember not to touch that until um, it dries and then we can, we can try it out. So. I mean, I'm really hoping that these work because this would be a great buy for $3. I actually went to Blick Art Supply the other day to get some I was looking for some not I was actually looking at the um it was the Neo Pastels, I'm not sure, but they're like $2 a piece, $3 a piece, something like that. Um, and so I ended up having to leave because I got a phone call and I had to get out of there. But um, in the meantime, I found these and I thought, well, let's try them out. So I'm just gonna start with this color and I'm gonna go very light. They are creamy. And then here I'm gonna do it darker. So, it's almost the consistency of a crayon coming out of there. Let's see. Okay, so 
it blends, but as you can see, you can still see the lines beneath. And so this is much better if you can get it, like if you can do it darker, I guess. But you can clearly still see it. are really pretty that it comes with so even if you just need colored pencils so that's nice there are no names on any of the colors so if that's a deal breaker for you black or a paint gray. Oh, it's blue. So that for this method, it works well, for sure. Um, actually, it's really pretty. Let's try it like this. And then I'm gonna dip it in water as well. brush itself. So you can definitely still see the the marks under here as well. Um, the other thing I was going to try is I'm going to just make a mark. And then I'm going to see if I can find my spray bottle and spray it. Let's see, so it kind of reacts like a Stabilo. So depending on what you'd want, I actually think that it's a good buy it's definitely not like you know it's definitely not going to be like you're not gonna be able to do watercolor watercolor with these unless you do it you know in this form but you know this kind of gives you a cool effect this is almost dry so I will clean my brush off Let's try this pink. It's really pretty. So definitely when I put it down, it was felt different. Okay, so that's, that completely blended out. So if you use gesso, let's try the on the regular gesso, a white gesso. And that completely blends out too, I believe, as far as I can see. So that's the way to go. And maybe it could have been just the watercolor paper. I am going to try it again. Let's see, this looks like a purpley, like a plum color. Oops. So I'm gonna do that. And where's my mister? Okay, so that did not want to move as much. So now let's try to move it around.
Okay, so I think that all in all, actually let's try it up here on the Claire Gesso, which I love this Claire Gesso. It's um, the Art Basics. Sometimes it's hard to find, or maybe it was just during, um, you know, a couple years ago it was hard to find. So automatically what's weird is that when you put it down on the paper, you can blend it out, but it doesn't, like you saw this one, there was a lot more reaction with the water when the water hit it. So anyways, I think all in all, it's nice. I mean, this is really pretty. Like I said, the colors are really pretty what you get in here. I'm try to keep these separated so since they're a little wet. But you get a really pretty array of colors. that was going to be more of like an oak uh, yellow ochre but it's um more just yellow so i definitely think that for three dollars it's they're worth it um it just depends on what effect you want and as you can see with the gesso it's going to completely blend out on regular watercolor paper you're going to be able to see the lines underneath, oops, which you might want. Like, I think that's a really cool effect. And so it just depends on what you're looking for, but um, I do think it's a good buy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'd love to know what you guys think of these watercolor pencils. What do you think of them for the price? What do you think for the quality, like for the test that you have? And then do you have them? Have you used them? And any comments that you wanna give on that? So. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.